selecting the path type we're going to go up to insert and we're going to go to attach and I'm going to select on uh, my PB base file and say open I'm going to choose it as an attachment or as an overlay uh, and so I'm going to go with an overlay and I'm going to pick my standard uh, uh, scale insertion point rotation and block unit but I want to go with a path type I have three different types first let's go with a full path the full path means it's going to go and grab the file by its full path if it's on the U drive uh, DRFT 2124 uh, labs uh, it'll find that whole path or if it's on my C drive documents it's going to find that whole drive if anything changes on that path that drive or that folder it will lose its connection to that file and so this works well if you are going to work by yourself and only by yourself you're never going to give these files to anybody else because it's highly unlikely they're going to have the U drive etc uh, etc et for a matter of fact I don't have access to your your drive so if you do it in your U drive labs I won't be able to read these files so the absolute value um, is uh, or the full path value is kind of only if you're using it by yourself next if we go up and attach and I'm going to attach the uh, existing 41 uh, we have relative path now a relative path and I'll do overlay a relative path is where uh, we might want to give it to a client or we might want to put it on a CD-ROM or switch it to another server uh, or give it to somebody uh, and that's because AutoCAD tracks which folder it's in uh, and what file it's in separately than it does the uh, the you know the full path and so I'm going to say OK and I'm going to say I'm going to put that at 0 comma 0 and now in our last one I'll attach and I'm going to put in EX61 and this time I'm going to put in no path now no path will work good if you're going to give it to someone however AutoCAD will only find these if the your uh, path is set up in your options um, you know in AutoCAD options or that they're all in the same folder and that's what I do recommend if you put your host file and all your X reference files in the same folder if you give that folder to someone else then it will find it um, so if you don't have a lot of drawings in um, you know it all they could find them all in one folder this is probably the best way or if you have a lot of drawings and long organization I recommend relative if you're only gonna work on it by yourself and never get to anybody else then I would say um, you know a full path so I'll say OK and I'm gonna go 0 comma 0 now just to kinda of look at this if I go down to this lower right hand corner go to external references I will see my three files attached here now you'll notice in the first one I put in the base it is an absolute path the full path defined by the computer in my case C users Bordeaux documents and you have to have this exact path in your full uh, system in order for this to work the odds of that are pretty rare so this is only good if I want to work on it by myself the second method was the relative method it used a series of dots dots that said let's just go up one folder let's go up another folder and go, let's go up another folder and then so it just tracks where the folders are at and uh, and it's then tracks all these things individually and then the last one had no path at all it just gave it the name of the file so the only way it's gonna find this file is if it's in the same folder uh, as with the host drawing or you happen to have it in your um, options of AutoCAD options in the file tab you go to the support file search path and it happens to be in there 
chances are somebody else having that are rare so I would just keep it in the same folder as your host files then someone could find it so we have three different methods uh, we have the full path the relative path and the no path and the relative path is based on its relative location to the host file 